we have to find a way to do this. This is a pilot project, not that the legislature sets the parameters, but that the court itself, those seven Supreme Court justices, set themselves with judges and prosecutors that are volunteering to work with so that there can be some transparency so that we can know what will work or what won't work. Everybody's talked about the intent is good. And the senator from Jefferson 33 talked about, well, technology. Well, let me tell you something. People can walk in and everybody's got a cell phone. We've seen that where you get recorded. Nobody gets searched to see if they've got recording devices. Nobody else walks in there about participants who are witnesses. And sometimes the rule on witnesses, the rule on sequestration is not applied. And individuals sit in there and listen. But nobody ever tells you know, them, do not record it, do not text it outside. I've probably tried 750 to 1,000 of these hearings or been involved in them in, in 25 years. So this is a step with the court setting the parameters so that we can make sure situations that we read about are dealt with and that we do know and we don't wind up with the judge ordering records released and seeing all other types of problems because there was no transparency. And I do trust two elected officials, actually nine, seven Supreme Court justices, an elected Commonwealth attorney or county attorney, and an elected judge to come up with the criteria to know when cases should be closed and when cases should not be. But it is also part of a much larger overreaching problem that the legislature probably needs to look at a lot of other cases because divorce cases between a man and a woman are not, not closed. And there can be much, even many more testimonies by witnesses that are even worse than anything you'll hear in an abuse, dependency, and neglect hearing. But it's out in the public realm, subject for people to go in, and I've done it read about all the reports that were filed about the individuals for how they have been alleged to have abused their child or left them or shown up intoxicated or under the influence, but there's no rules on that. So this is the appropriate step to take forward. So I encourage people to consider what we're trying to do, and it is about the children, to make sure that when a child is abused, it's not abused again by the system. Thank you, Madam President.